is probably the deepest myths of capitalist patriarchy. They replace creation in nature, creation by women, creation by peasants, and make it look zero, yeah? Mm. Like it's not an economy. And only what can be extracted, the commodity that gets traded is measured as high yield. So I started to work to show, no, this. if you look at the total output of a system, this is the low yield system. We work then on seeds. These are low yielding seeds because they're nutritionally empty. Um, why is food security so important? Because food is what we live by. Food is life. And everyone has to eat. Not everyone today has, is growing food, but it was the case that most countries were primarily agrarian countries before industrialism and industrial agriculture, and definitely before globalization. Everyone is frantic about the Ukraine war and Africa starving. But why is Africa dependent? Such a large continent, such abundant knowledge. Why are they having to depend on wheat, which is not their staple crop? Mm -hmm. It's a land of millets. Mm -hmm. It's a land of arid areas. So the dependency created by the Green Revolution and now Mr. Gates with the Alliance for the Green Revolution in Africa is creating food insecurity by destroying the food basis in biodiversity and ecological agriculture. Does it affect only the poor? It affects the poor farmers because of high costs of seed, but it affects the rich countries too, because if everyone is eating glyphosate resistant GMO soya and corn, you're going to have sickness. The fact that we have chronic diseases is because of the total damage to the gut microbiome. And while they kept saying glyphosate is safe for humans, glyphosate impacts the bacteria in our gut microbiome. And now there is proof of how much damage glyphosate is doing. And I'm so happy that finally the courts of the US have woken up and said the EPA cheated in declaring this was safe. It must be declared as a carcinogen, which it used to be before more salmon sand to pride. So the GMO story became such a big part of my story. It's a story of corruption of science. It's a story of, of influence of the poison cartel over our agriculture and our food system. And it is a story we must put an end to because there's enough diversity in the world and women have enough knowledge how to grow diversity to ensure we have food security. <laughs>